This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator to solve the permutations type of questions. All right, first thing is you need to understand what's the meaning of permutation. So permutation basically is a way of arranging a uh, different thing. Okay, so normally for permutation, we will use the MPR to represent it. But what is MPR? MPR actually have their own formula like N factorial over M minus R factorial. But over here, there's so many things you need to understand. First thing you kind of need to understand about factorial. So example, if you have 4 factorial, but what's the meaning of 4 factorial? If you use the calculator, you can just type 4 and then shift. And then you should be able to see a factorial here. So you can see 4 factorial. Okay, so the calculator will tell you it's 24. But what really is a 4 factorial here is 4 factorial basically means 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1. This is the reason why you will get 24. So example, if I want to do the 5 factorial, basically is 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1, which is uh, 120 or or I can say 5 factorial equals to 5 multiply 4 factorial because 4 factorial itself is exactly the same thing here, isn't it? So you, you see carefully, if I say 5 multiply 4 factorial because the whole thing here, I can simplify at the 4 factorial. So 5 factorial, if I use the calculator, calculator will tell me is 120. Or I can type 5 multiply 4 factorial, I will still get 120. Or I, if I want to go even further, I can say it's 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 factorial. It still get 120. Or I can even say 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 factorial. So you realize something uh, quite interesting here is whenever I want to stop, I can just add a factorial. Then I no need to continue to write multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1. So you can see, normally 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, isn't it? If I want to stop at 3 factorial here, uh, 3 here, then I just add a factorial for it. So become 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. So if I want to stop at 4 here, I just add a factorial for it. Because this concept is very important when you expand the n factorial. Because when you expand the n factorial, right, you will keep on going one. So the first thing is start with n. The next term will be just n minus 1. Then the next term will be just m minus 2. Then the next term will be just m minus 3. I can keep on going. But if I want to stop it, what I will do is I will add a factorial for it. Alright, so if you understand this concept, right, then we can go into the uh, NPR. So let's say I have 5p3. Okay, so how am I going to do this is, the, based on the formula, this one will be 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial. So this one will become 5 factorial over 2 factorial. So which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. I will just stop at 2 factorial here because what? I see a 2 factorial at the bottom. Then I simplify it. Then 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 is 60. So let's see what we get from a calculator. 5, if you want to get P, I will type shift. And then multiply button will give me P3. This is how I get 5P3, which is 660. Alright, because sometime in the exam, you, you might get something like our NP3, something like this. So this is the reason why I kind of need to teach you how to solve the app. So let's say if I want to do something like NP3, let's say it's uh, equals to... 5. So you kind of need to know how to expand the mp3 isn't it? So this, this is the reason why I, I will teach you about n factorial thing. Because this one is called n factorial over um, let's say mp2. mp3 will be quite a lot. It will be m minus 2 factorial. So how, how can you simplify it? So basically your idea is you want to like get rid of the factorial here. Like n factorial if I expand I will get n m minus 1, m minus 2. I will just add a factorial for it. Definitely I can continue at m minus 3, m minus 4 and so on. But then because I see the m minus 2 factorial at the denominator, then I will just stop here. And then this one I have m minus 2 factorial 
then I can cancel it out. Then I only left n multiply with n minus one without a factorial. So if this case, if the question says like is equal to six, then I can just solve this quadratic equation. All right. So yeah, here I hope you understand uh, how to use the formula and what's the meaning for factorial here. All right. But when will we use the factorial or NPR here? So I will give you a quite simple example. So example, so let's say today I have uh, three different number card here, which is one, two, and three. So if I want to arrange these three, these three different number card here to form the three digits number, I want to find that how many uh, number I can arrange. Definitely I can arrange like one, two, three, which is one, or I can do something like, one three two which is second option so, or i can do two one three or i can do two three one or i can do three one two or i can do three two one so you can see there's one one way two three four five six so basically i can have six way of arranging the one two three but if I give you one, two, three, and four, if you want to like list out one by one, it's going to take you quite some time to actually solve it. So this is the reason why we need a faster way of doing this. So if like if I want to arrange this three number into a uh, uh, different digits code here, so what we will do is in the calculator we, we will just do the three factorial. So see what happens for three factorial. So the three factorial here is basically six. So this is the reason why I will get a six way here. So if I have something like one, two, three, and four, I want to know how many like uh the different number I can arrange here. Basically, I just need to do a four factorial. And then if I do the four factorial, the calculator will tell me I will have the 24 way, which we just do it just we just did it just now. So that's mean if I want to arrange one, two, three, four into order different digits number like one two three four one two four three and so on i basically i should have 24 number of it so this is the reason why uh, you can use a factorial to quickly do it but at the same time if i want to use a p what i can do over here is if i want to arrange all the four digits here i will just tell my calculator four i have four number i want to arrange all the four number we call four p four, which is twenty four. So if right if like the example just now, I I only have three number. I want to arrange all the three number we call three number here. I want to arrange all the three number. It's called three p three. It's six. But what's the main difference between factorial and p is the p you can choose to arrange. Let's say three number. I only want to arrange any two of them, then. Is six, all right. But for factorial, right? Three factorial definitely means you arrange all the three number. You cannot choose uh, how many number you want to arrange. Okay, so yeah. So let's go into the some example. So let's say today, if I have the question like this, how many four digits number less than six thousand can be formed? from the prime number from 1 to 10 without repetition. Right, so right now your objective is to form the four digits number, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this four digit number must form by the prime number from 1 to 10. So first we kind of need to list out the prime number from 1 to 10. So prime number start with 2. Next number will be 3. 4 is not the prime number because we can divide by 2. So the next one will be 5. 6 is not. 7. 8 is not, 9 is not, 10 is not. So basically, right now you only have uh, 4 prime number from 1 to 10. But the question tells you, uh, this 4 digit number must less than 6,000. When you say less than 6,000, right? So the first digit must be less than 6. So the first digit I can put 2, 3, or 5. Alright, then here is the 3 way. Like three, I will choose one to insert in the first digits, right? So I can just write three. Or some student might write to do three P one. 
three P1 means what? Three digits here. I only choose one to insert here. So if I use one digits already, let's say I use three to insert here. I already use three. How many digits I left here? I will left three more digits, right? So these three more digits, I need to fill in the three places here. So we call it three P three because I want to arrange all the three numbers here. Then I'll multiply them. So this is how I solve this kind of question, which is three P one multiply three P three. So basically I have eighteen or way of arranging this four digits number to make sure all of these four digits number will be less than six thousand. Yeah, so just just show you some example. Let's say at three, two, five, seven. This number is less than six thousand, isn't it? Or I can do three, five, two, seven. This number is less than six thousand, right? But I cannot start with seven, two, three, five. Because this number is already more than six thousand. So this is the reason why we cannot start with the letter seven. We must start with the two, three, and five. Alright, I hope this short video can help you understand better about what is permutation, what is factorial. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye